We've seen many people writing letters. We've had letters from the traditional rulers. We've had letters from our previous, um, our former president, um, Baba Yabo. We've <laughs> had letters from everybody is talking that th there's, there are challenges within our country that we must face. But this letter from a religious leader is making us ask the question, what is the role of our religious leaders in politics? And we cannot forget the father, Father Mbaka, and how is statement was causing crises all around. There are a lot of things he mentioned, health, education, the things he wants for them to quickly put you know, their always. eyes on. Yes, he says our roads, our education, our health and power sectors must receive urgent attention to make life easier for all Nigerians. And then, you know, just, it's a very powerful, and then he goes ahead, of course, being a Christian leader, drops Ecclesiastics 9.10, Daniel 4, 33 to 34, and Acts 12. It's just really calling them to be responsible mm. for the role that they have been chosen by mm. God to take. And when you get there, if you do it well, you know, God will bless you. It just reminds me of the story of Saul and David. So Saul, I, I mean, if you're a Christian, you know the story. African leaders, not just Nigerian mm. leaders, is that leaving a legacy. Mm. If you leave a legacy, if you like steal all the money, but you leave a very powerful legacy, nobody's going to believe that you no, they remember that you stole money. Mm. Because what you did, but our own leaders, it's only their pockets mm. that they know. <laughs> ah, the legacy that they want to leave is for their family. Who will squander the money? Once they go, the family squanders the money. Mm -hmm. um, I like to go back to history. I remember that back in the days where we had these um, herbalists, mm. more like a spiritual guide in a village mm. that has the king's ear. Mm. And the mm. Dibias. Mm. Ah, Chineke goes, give me five days. Yes. <laughs> they, have the king's, me five. <laughs> they have the king's ear. And so they tell, they, they, are, they are like the seers. They mm. see what is to happen mm. before it happens. And then they can guide the king. OK, you have to fight war with this nation. You have to fight war with this community. Don't fight with these people. Make sure your people have this and all of that. The kings revered them and listened to them. Mm. That is the same role that prophets of old looking at the scriptures, have always been to the kings. Mm. They always have one advice or the other that they give to the kings that help them to manage their people well. Mm. And that is the role that I expected our religious and spiritual leaders right now to take up. Mm.